Moonchun just won its lawsuit against Tencent. And in compensation, they got $30,800. How it all happened? I will discuss this in this video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I will talk about this bizarre incident that took place recently where Tencent ended up losing and paid approx $30,800 to Moontoon. To understand the whole situation, let me start with how it began. In 2007 and 2008, Moontoon founder Shu Zenwa and Justin Zing joined Tencent Games. And while working at Tencent, Shu founded Moontoon. And here comes the part that Tencent was angry about. According to them, Shu violated the non-competition agreement and was terminated from labor relations. This also triggered lawsuit regarding the matter. Now this was something personal with Tencent and Shu. But things got worse when Tencent fabricated and provided misleading information to the Indonesian partners. Also, this happened during the MPL tournament, which managed to damage not only the business reputation of Moontoon, but also brought down Moontoon. And Tencent took an unfair advantage to compete against Moontoon and constituted commercial slander. For those who don't know the meaning, commercial slander means the declaration of false charges or misrepresentation which defame and damage another's reputation. This means it was more business for Tencent and less to no business earnings for Moontoon. I mean even I would not want to be around people who have a bad reputation. And this become the case with Moontoon too. Their trust was gone, their reputation ruined and moreover they were suffering huge losses. So Moontoon decided to file a lawsuit in 2019 against Tencent regarding their defamation stating that Tencent had fabricated and provided false information that spoiled their cooperation with their relevant partners and caused serious losses to Moontoon's business reputation. And Tencent should bear the legal responsibility. And then on October 6th, this case was settled in favor of Moontoon. Shanghai Intellectual Property Court ruled in favor of Moontoon Games in the suit. As a result, Tencent will compensate for economic losses and expenses that total up to 220,000 yuan, or you can say approx 475 million Indonesian rupiah, 1,825,000 Philippine pesos. 2,550,000 Indian rupees or 31,000 US dollars. This 28,000 euros might be a big thing for us, but it is not much for giant companies like Tencent. Tencent was also asked to apologize publicly for their misdeed, but till now there are no reports of their public apology. Let's first understand a few things. Moontoon was established in the year of 2014 and it focuses on the gaming market overseas. They released MLBB in the year of 2016 and it was a big hit. Becoming one of the best MOBA games category, it was even called national games in some countries. Yes, LOL was released in the year of 2009 but it was a PC game. Its mobile version Aka LOL Wild Rift was released in the year of 2020. Moontoon already paid Tencent in their first lawsuit as they lost the case. Yet Moontoon was sued by Tencent once again and it's currently in trials and there is no news of it. The current lawsuit filed in 2022 is still active and the case is still pending. So right now some thoughts popped up in my mind, just hear me out. Previously, Riot sued Moontoon and they won. Now they are suing them again on Wild Rift. If I'm thinking it right, the current case against copyright infringement is completely in favor of Moontoon. Because MLBB was made in 2016 and LOL Wild Rift was made in 2020. 
so you will not be able to sue a copyright claim on an already copyrighted work that too released before wild rift do suggest to me if i am wrong moonton might actually win the lawsuit if you guys have noticed they already changed the look and overall wallpapers of a few heroes and skin mentioned in the lawsuit and with the fact that the court stated the main content of the letter revolved around copyright infringement of relevant game software the letter actually used repeatedly expression such as violation of trade secrets judgment and victory while in fact the case only involved tencent and moonton and shu genwa personally does not involve the dispute between the plaintiff and the defendant nor does it involve the fact that shu genwa violated trade secrets as per the yikai's report tencent even used intimidating language claiming that they did already won the ongoing plagiarism court case between mobile legends and riot's league of legends despite no such verdict existing This means they were bragging about the fake information just to make themselves stand out and call MLBB a thief. All these will really affect the ongoing case too, and I think this might make the court judge in Moonton's favor. Tencent put a really bad impression of themselves in the court. Let us now wait and see how the race will turn out to be. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.